Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. Today, I present you with a story that has recently gone viral, sparking heated debates across the globe. At the heart of this controversy is the question of whether the extreme actions taken against a bully were justified, or whether they crossed a line that should never be crossed. As a time traveler, I have seen how the consequences of our decisions echo throughout history, shaping the future in unexpected ways. The situation began when a young person named Kosta Kekmanovich was being bullied relentlessly, reaching a breaking point where they felt they had no other choice but to take drastic measures. In the end, the bully was humbled, and the cycle of torment came to a halt. I watched as the world reacted to this story, divided in their opinions. While it's undeniable that the bully's actions were harmful and cruel, it's important to consider the implications of the events that followed. On the one hand, the drastic measures taken might serve as a cautionary tale to other potential bullies, reducing the prevalence of bullying in this era. On the other hand, it's crucial to acknowledge that violence and extreme measures should never be the solution to any problem, no matter how desperate the situation may seem. As someone who has witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, I can tell you that it is through empathy, understanding, and open communication that humanity thrives. In this viral story, I see the potential for change. I see an opportunity for people to engage in constructive conversations about the nature of bullying, the consequences of our actions, and the importance of standing up for ourselves and others in a responsible, compassionate way. But I also see the danger of sensationalism, of focusing on the extreme aspects of the story without considering the bigger picture. I encourage you all to reflect on this story, to think critically about the issues it raises, and to engage in thoughtful discussions that can pave the way for a more empathetic, understanding society. In the end, these are just my opinions as a time traveler from the year 2500. I believe that we should continue to work towards creating a society where bullying and violence are not tolerated, and where we can find ways to help both the victims and the bullies. But until then, let us continue to learn from these incidents and work together towards a better future. Until we meet again, farewell.